Lyft, what are you doing? What are you doing, Lyft? You used to be my company. I used to be your guy. But in the past several years, you've made some really tone deaf to me, really bad decisions. And I got to say, you're not my company anymore. And in this video, I'm going to break down all the reasons why Lyft is no longer my company and not this driver's friend. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the final straw that broke the camel's back, something that happened recently, which I just cannot forgive Lyft for. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Thanks for joining me in this video. You know, when I first started almost four years ago, there was Uber and Lyft. And over those next couple of years, Uber kind of self-destructed. Uber had uh, a CEO who did some, some things that made people not like him at all. Uh, they had some uh, corporate issues and all of this elevated Lyft. And what I'm gonna do is break down some of the things that I really liked, uh, Lyft over, over Uber, and then I'm gonna show you how those things have changed. Number one, no corporate shenanigans. So as I said, uh, Uber had a Travis Kalanick who berated a driver. Some corporate stuff was going on. Lyft just kept their head down. No, no issues whatsoever. Number two, they kept prime time. So Uber has surge. Lyft used to have prime time, and uh, Uber pretty pretty quickly eliminated surge, and they went to what was called penny surge, where you could just get paid a little bit of like a, a dollar, a couple dollars if you're in a particular area, where it used to be this multiplier, and for the longest time Lyft Lyft had that going when Uber still had the surge. Three. Lyft was busier in San Francisco. So this was uh, it happened a couple of years ago where I noticed I was getting pings faster with Lyft. So of course, Lyft uh, was, was better to drive for because uh, I could also go for the bonuses. Number four, this was a big one, six destination filters. So Uber went to six, but then they quickly dropped down to two, but not Lyft, Lyft stayed strong and they offered six destination filters. Number five, both Uber and Lyft had a $500 bonus for drivers. Ubers uh, uh, went away after about a year, and Lyft, uh, again, this is why I loved Lyft, Lyft kept that $500 bonus. It was called the Power Driver Bonus. So that was a big win for me. Okay, so now let's look at what Lyft has done for me lately. And you're gonna understand why I'm so crestfallen about Lyft. First of all, corporate shenanigans. Now uh, Lyft is a big supporter of uh, the anti-AB5 uh, campaign. If, if you're for the driver, AB5 is a good thing, but Lyft is against it. Second, prime time is gone, okay? They got rid of prime time a few, like six months ago, and they replaced it with what they call the personal uh, power zones and it's the same as Uber's. So they basically just defaulted back into what exactly what Uber is offering. Third, demand is now the same. Um, I don't know wh why that happened, if they've just brought on too many drivers, but demand, at least in San Francisco, between Uber and Lyft is about the same. Uh, Lyft no longer uh, seems to have the advantage. Okay, four, <laughs> unbelievable, but this happened two weeks ago. Uh, Lyft decided to go from six destination filters down to two. Last Saturday, I really felt the effect of that. And I don't know why Lyft decided to do this. They say hardly anyone uses six. So if that's the case, then why change it, right? Why change it? Well, they did change it and I say, bad move. Okay, the last point, the bonus, the $500 bonus, which was going strong for such a long time is now down to $300. So, uh, Lyft did the same thing as Uber, and they've just reduced the bonus down, down, down. And I say again, not great. Number three, let's look at what do the rideshare guy readers uh, say about this? So we looked to see what, uh, in the last survey, what percentage of drivers who drive for Lyft say they somewhat agree or strongly agree that they like driving for Lyft. And as you can see here, we see that the amount in 2019 was 52.4%, okay? But then what we do is we look at what that number was two years ago, right? Two years when Lyft, as I'm saying here, was doing everything right. And what we see when we look at this graph here is that 
the number was 75%, 75.8%. That means in two years, the satisfaction uh, of drivers driving for Lyft went from 75 all the way down to 52. That's a pretty precipitous drop. Number four, the last straw. My good friend Joe with the Rideshare Guy recently did a video where his market was impacted by this new change in pay structure. Decided to uh, pay drivers from the time they get the ping to the pickup and then pick up to the drop off. So at first you think, well, that's great. But what they also did is they cut the per mile down significantly. So what's happening now is Joe did an analysis and he's getting 10% less. So it's presented like it's this great thing for the drivers, but it's actually paying the drivers less. And then Joe talked to somebody at Lyft and Lyft said they blamed, <laughs> they blamed it on the drivers because they talked to some drivers and some drivers said they want consistency of pay, whatever that means. Uh, I guarantee you, Lyft, that if you ask any driver if they want consistency of pay and 10% less, they would say no. They'd rather have 10% more in inconsistency in pay. I guarantee you that's what every single uh, driver would say. The other thing I'm going to suggest to you, Lyft, is if you really want to know what drivers think, we have this great thing called the Lyft app, right? It's on the phone. Just ask us questions. We'll, we'll tap what we like and don't like, and then you'll have this amazing uh, data from drivers that will tell you that that kind of a pay structure that you went to is tone deaf, wrong, bad. What can I say? Key takeaways. <laughs> Lyft, you were my company. You've done all these things that have taken all the benefits that I had driving for you down to Uber's level, to where Uber is. Then you, on your own, come up with this new pay structure, which is horrible, 10% less. That would be, in a $2,000 week, $200. $200 times 50 weeks, that's $10,000 you're taking out of driver's pockets uh, if they can make $2,000 a week. So I'm just disappointed. What can I say? I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed, angry, frustrated, and uh, all right, if you like the video, give us a like. If you have not uh, yet joined our team, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, get, get fresh content every single week. We're going to show you how to make more money in less time. That's what we're all about here at The Rideshare Guy. This is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. You'll go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.